for the teams to play with. And you know, you know that we're keeping our fingers crossed for those ones. But we'll see. We've still got about 30 seconds until that initial zone pops and gives things away. So in Thailand, Archangel Predator fight, because when we left, it was only two players coming up against each other. Now it's going to be a whole squad. Duckman spotted out in the open, ran out of his ammo in his scar. So he's forced to play SLR only. The Molotovs will be coming through from Evil Patrick. It's the spray oh. through the smoke. Mad Dog's there, lands the shot. Duckman's ends up falling. Jacob going to be pinned down over at the tree as well as Evil Patrick just swinging wide and high. Jacob pops the first aid, but CJ spotted him out. Patrick's going to be there to land the pinch and land the shots as well. Made in Thailand, now losing two. Tanawat tries to return the fire, but I think he knows better. Behind the Bronco, going to really top in and make a move. Are you really surprised when you've got a team this dominant in the form of Archangel Predator getting aggressive early? Even with the M16, CJ's landing shots out of the vehicle. Archangel Predator living up to their name like a pack of wolves surrounding, singling out their prey. Duckman's first and then CJ around the back getting those tags into Jacob, forcing him into the line of sight of his squad. Pack tactics from the Predators and they will absolutely wipe out Made in Thailand who they didn't necessarily need to make that push. I can't blame them for trying to make the play, try and pick off a weakened player who you know isn't going to have that much in terms of the utility, the, the weapons, the vests, but the whole squad was just there in time for Archangel Predator and it backfires drastically for Made in Thailand. That's a loss of Duckman's. That's a loss of Jacob. Duckman's man who survived until the top three in the previous game now drops out early on at only two deaths of the game coming on that Western coast. You can see week two, match two, last week that was. Sorry, you got the chicken dinner. After last game, I'm not surprised. They made it to the late game. They put up some decent Debbie good. They're going to hold those roads, maybe watch the Western side just so teams like Sharper can't get through too easily. I am interested, though, in the center of the zone. Insight is looking right down onto Day Trade. Fury and Day Trade, not two teams that I think anyone would want to fight early. Two big names, though, which if either of these squads get eliminated, well, it's going to be a big relief for the rest of the lobby. Definitely is. We're still looking at day trade and hoping to see some of that dominant form from what they've shown in the Thailand series, what they showed up PGIS in the same format, but it just hasn't come to fruition at PCS so far. Currently, what, what, about 6K overall in the prize pool. Not the best, but not completely nothing as well. So they've they've shown a little bit, but we still hope to see more that they know that they can provide. God knew now. Indy took the fight and they won it pretty convincingly. It cost them the life of a player. Being United are not going to take that risk. They are going to keep four players alive. They will give up the position. They will back up, regroup on a different compound as four and continue on to the late stages of the game because they know that numbers win games when it comes to the players that you have alive. Unicorn Phoenix, uh, they might have the, the philosophy of frags winning them games and they're certainly doing the fragging, but the win just about eluded them. So maybe, you know, one point to BN in the kill in the wins column, Unicorn Phoenix did manage to take the fight early on, but BN United not at all interested in doing so. It's really interesting to see, even in this format, that is pretty much all about the wins, but the different ways that you can approach it coming through and both being equally successful. Cerberus, Slolzy, just struggling to get up the cliff. Don't think he... Uh... It's going to worry too much about that. Over on the Los Leones hillsides, this is an interesting one here, which is kind of a big factor inside this zone. If this zone does end up shifting to the northeast, it is going to come into play in the late game. But no, it isn't that Los Leones ending that I know that we were all hoping for. Instead, pulls down to the south. And oh, Seri, you like looking he... really strong in the current split. Close. He has about three hit points left. That man was very, very close to bleeding out, but we'll manage to get the revive on. Day trade avoiding the pressure from Fury, holding on to a very solid position now as the new zone has come through. And like you say, Serayu, they are in prime position with a very solid 2 1 1 split. It's not going to go all the way over to that high ground position where we typically see that southern side of the cliff all the way on the coast be the ending. So Serayu are in open space, but might be under a little bit of the watchful eye of 36 Cartel if they're not too careful before they make their move out of the southern side. 
Team United. In comes the crash. On to oh, Adrian Simon! He runs over Flash. That was huge. Surely, Simon, you expected him to die there on the crash. But no, the bike heads in head first. But Venonica, he finds God. He sits head first. Down goes the knock as Young B's been eliminated from range. Zest is pinned down into the corner. Venonica lands the Molotov. Beautifully done. Only one player remains from BN United. But not for long. Out comes the frag and down go our game one winners our first place team for the week BN United are out of it I'm going to go back about two minutes to when I said that BN United was playing passive to keep their numbers high and I'm going to correct myself they are full sending at day trade and now this time they know what it feels like to be easy esports they get the one kill but that is all for this game they are now eliminated <laughs> early on and it's not even for a position that would have been in this next zone belmoth steals away a kill point yet yeah, the very closest to the center for them and that's msc in a very strong spot as well Look at all of these southern teams making the road take through as Klee tries to deny one. CJ, no, he spins out. He loses a tire. Klee looking to finish off the job. But Mad Dog is there to try and get the trade. Look out why it falls as Mad Dog and Arjun Bots, followed by CJ, all going to be falling. Why eight flushed out with the vehicle as the colony from above opening up the fire. Third party central right now is who the heck would expect so many squads on the south coast in phase three cows is popping the med kit to try and survive as easy esports well i don't think they realize what they've just gotten themselves into pinned down on the south coast and chabrit well he's pinned between two attack all around players that is far from ideal but he's still gonna look to find fight his way out of it with a knock onto gems but jexy is answered back onto from glooms from the lower ground colony still not done evil patrick Defends against the Mad Send. Oh my god! Evil Patrick! All three members of Easy, the last two out of the open top Murado. The spray was insane. And Archangel Predator cling onto life with the most disgusting barrel spray I have seen in a long time. One clip, three kills, all headshots. That is absolutely ridiculous. What has just happened? But surely he's not going to have too much time to celebrate his victory because up above, Colony are still watching. Oh, man, that is brutal stuff. Evil Patrick, that was maybe the most disgusting individual two seconds I've seen from Archangel Predator. Chibber it now to put his name in the hat for it, but can't quite connect anything close to what we've just seen. Unicorn Phoenix now making the push down the hillside as Flood goes for the sprays, but they don't quite land in the way he would have, would have hoped as Unicorn Phoenix going into the dip. As you probably expect, but it's not ideal. Sharper Esports right above them. They could cause some major problems right now as Tanoi swings out. All it's going to take is one big nade from Sharper Esports, and there's two players down from Unicorn Phoenix, but it's going to be Bell down first insight is there for the shot six sacks doing what he can to try and return the fire but instead onto hands he is the northwestern side heats up it looks like that continue to be the case because all of these teams are in but with only one dip to work with 36 cartel have made it in on the eastern side in between game home and msc relatively uncontested as well but it's the northwestern side four squads battling for the position that unicorn phoenix have rotated into at the low ground of the hill still battling for themselves for that spot between sharper e365 and triple a and fury just putting pot shots in from a distance as well insight has already taken down Sh uh, belmoth of sharper now down to three once again. Three kills so far for the day. He's contributed. Evil Patrick. Oh, man. Getting away from the scene of an absolute massacre in his getaway vehicle. And he will make it out of the line of sight of Colony. Maybe if he goes too far, might meet his own fate at the hands of Cerberus. But for now, he seems to be avoiding it. In sight, the long range shots with the mini he's already taken down one that's the one kill for fury the grenade will go a little too far from glooms won't quite catch chibber and jexy they were close together there was a chance that could have been the double nade to eliminate two members of e365 on the push down it wasn't quite to be went just a tickle too far 
Now Jankarov looking for the angle as E365 make this push, trying to stay out of the line of sight of the third party of UMP. Shabrit doing what he can to try and play point, but it just isn't happening. As Eagle 365 just sneaking their way in around the edge right now, not wanting to make too much noise. Sharper hopping in the vehicles, ready to make a move. Fury, though, they are looking strong. Up on the high ground, a 2 2 split as Flood tries to open up. He does the damage, no kills being found yet. As Alec falls, Sharper just looking like they could creep their way in, but straight into the waiting arms of White Kicker Mukau. We'll bypass him for now. He's got the SKS, so I'd say it's not ideal for hitting the shots out of moving targets out of vehicles, but Ronin's doing it with Bolties, so what do I know? Glooms and Jay is now playing a much more defensive game to try and hold off as E365 have made their way into the warehouse. They have backed out to the crates, holding the angles. It's a good spray onto Chibrit, but not quite enough. The first headshot, nothing else to connect. Oh, Glooms, that grenade is looking close, but Jankarov through the smoke will catch him out. Jexy is on the move, on the push, but can't quite find the angle just yet. He's actually got around. He's knocked his teammate, Jexy. Oh, disaster for E365. What a way for them to fall. A fall that maybe you would have hoped would change now with Eagle 365. They started off ECS not in the best position, looking like they... Could have redeemed it this time around, but it's not to be attack all around, showing why they are just a global level squad. Six sacks does end up falling as sharper esports are just getting torn apart from all sorts of different angles. The zone, well, it goes hard to the west. Most teams are looking pretty strong, but these eastern teams are going to struggle right now. Teams like Fury up on the northern side, just throwing down an absolute red zone onto sharper each point. Shopper Esports as Tanoi just trying to survive as long as possible. Only one frag left for Flood. So I think that they should be safe. I can't see Fury spending any more util on this. All they've got to do is wait for the smokes to run out and then they might not even need to. But if they wait a little too long, MSC might just creep up behind them. Rognan's might is already on the way. But look at how much Ronan and Insight have wrapped to the very far edges of the zone. They will have an off angle towards this, even if he peeks up over the top. They will allow Sharper to grab the revive, but even from this position, Sharper can do not very much, but other than hit the deck and try and keep their heads down, try to survive. Haisaki, the man who did have previously take down Evil Patrick after his heroics on the southern coast, now looking to make their push through 36 Cartel to get into the zone. It's going to be a tough one. 36 Cartel, it's time for them to prove exactly what they're made of. Prove that that game one win. If week one wasn't just a fluke and they can still frag out, put in some work, it's going to be a tough one. Not able to survive any longer. Ronan moving down the ridge, trying to sneak his way in as player four opens up with a nade. It's Hymas that ends up falling. 3007 trying to throw some flashes, nades off their own. Maybe thinking that players are a whole lot closer than they actually are, but it's Colony at range over in the compound that are open up some shots. Glorious ends up falling as game home hop into the vehicle. 3007 just surviving. One more bullet would have done it god new causes a distraction with the scar peppering the shots through game home they're not in the zone but at least they've got some form of safety right now the zone is creeping in they need to make a move as day trade they've lost neurons and they just got another one knocked made in thailand pushing up the western side we've got battles on the south battles to the east they're still popping off a good grenade from Salozzi will a chunk of damage onto Suspect, but it's not enough for the knock. That's a headshot on Asba, though, from Ranger with the spray of the barrel. And Player 4 has been spotted as the grenade from Fap is going quickly in his direction, but not quite close enough to get any damage. Salozzi, a risky heal out in the blue zone. He will take a little bit more damage, a bit more of that chip before he can make the push forward. But they're going directly towards MSC. They're being funneled by 36 Cartel. And now Cerberus could be in some serious trouble. Absolutely inside the bottom of the tip. The smokes are up. There's a little bit of rest by MSC. Not really making a push. Maybe thinking this squad are a bit more Suspect. closer, a bit more lit up than they actually are. Suspect, though, with the spray, going to be able to take down Fap as Julio is there to follow up with a second. Suspect, though, taken down out in the blue as Asper tries to get the trade. He does, but goes down in return. 36 Cartel. Well, they fall by the wayside yet again. And Os losing one of their two representative Cerberus, though, going for the revival. It's going to take... Is one big grenade, one big Molotov. It's a little bit wide, but Rogues with one big headshot, followed by the body. Cerberus out in 11. And 
push from Fury now. They should surely find Maximus, but Cow's got his back turned. Brutal stuff, but Insight and Ronan are there for the trade. They will get the revive for free. MSC, they pounced on the opportunity to wipe out both of the squads to the eastern side. Three different teams involved in the downfall of 36 Cartel, but Day Trade well, outside of the initial knock and flush from Simon T on the full send from BN. And it's been all made in Thailand to pick them off. And now they have to turn their attention straight back onto game home. Made in Thailand, a two men from the start still make it into the top no, top eight teams. And they've wiped out a couple on their way here as well. But the Colony might put up a bit more of a battle. A headshot onto Tanawat and a spray through the grass. But they're getting some assistance from Sunshine. Killer has to back off the angle. He's got four grenades but can't put them to use just yet. Killer falls. Julio from range shuts down one. Colony, Mamonji doing what he can to try and go for the revive as God you opens up the final player from game home. Hadong does oh. fall. It's Escazila that manages to pick up the kill. Game home out in eight. But now, made in Thailand, will their positions being given away? Attack all around. Know that Unicorn Phoenix are up above. They know that it's a four man. They know it's a formidable squad, but don't count these guys out of it yet. We've seen Janku do big things so far in PCS5, and I wouldn't expect him to stop any time soon but the nade is certainly gonna put the brakes on for a second as Shu tries to play point he is peeking over the top unicorn phoenix they are inside zone they don't really have to make a move but made in thailand do and it's the colony that get knocked down because of it mamonji falls and is flushed out as well only one player now remains from made in thailand as a huge nade comes out but nowhere to be attack all around fall and so the colony killer is out made in thailand and eight kills. This is what you wanted to see from them. This is as a duo as well. They lost Jacob. They lost Duckmans. Two of the bigger name players on the squad. Vanji! <laughs> Duck's out of the way. Oh, he almost gets an unhelpful greeting from the first part of his name as he almost gets splattered on the front end of the car. But Dodge is out of the way. Oh, lucky stuff. But UMP will keep themselves four up. That I love that though. Fury did that on purpose. They sent that vehicle down to try and get that lucky knock. It wasn't quite enough, but damn, it was close. Look, if they got that, just, just round of applause. Just, just let them win. Just, just give them the win. They deserve it if they manage to hit a play like that. But unfortunately, that's not how things work just yet. As the zone is going to be closing through phase seven, about to pop. Emma Shimbori taking a fight up against Fury as the nades come through. It's a Molotov, another hard shift up to the north. So Unicorn Phoenix yet again in a really good zone position. They really need Fury to sweep in and wipe out that team if you are basically anyone other than UNP. Maybe BN United. In fact, even BN United would love to see Fury come up out UNP as their closest competition. Really, they'd love even more if anyone else could do it, but Fury is the only team on their side of the road with four still alive that wouldn't have to expose themselves to the elements to try and make it a reality. But Unicorn Phoenix just can't stop getting the zone towards them. If this does go go towards the southeast side sarah you might be able to do enough but they still have to deal with made in thailand being those little irritating players behind them that are just constantly picking up frags even as a duo as from the start of the game they lost their teammates what three four minutes in and they're still going up to like almost 10 kills at this point is insane that was a close one there from Waikikamukau. The molly, though, was just a little bit short as he tries to open something up with the SKM. As Shimbori just pinned down in this corner. All it would take is one well-placed frag. They would be oh. able to get the kill, but not when Orm shots like that come out from Tarawa. Made in Thailand, putting in work right now to try and get the 10th kill. The flush not looking too lightly as Seriu now calls a distraction, applying the pressure, but nothing connected. Emma Shimbori, will they see this knock in the kill feed? going to try to make the most out of it but the nade no it's just a little bit wide why kick a moo cow gonna be healing up the second one though might work not to be as fury while they gain the distance they've gotten themselves down the hill fury now just about inside zone as escalusia does end up falling it leaves tanawat with the awm as the final player for making it not for long as they fall in fifth we are in to our final four teams and this could be huge. Insight now pushing forward, scouting for the positions of Unicorn Phoenix. Might be able to put some of these grenades, these Molotovs into use. And he's got the backup now as the rest of Fury. If Unicorn Phoenix aren't looking for this, if they're looking the wrong way, they could get shot in the back. And Banji peeks up over the top. Insight reveals his position with a big spray, but not quite enough to get the knock. 
The grenade will fly down towards Chu and Fury against UNP. Now the battle for the high ground. Look at those win percentage predictions. So, so close between all three, Fury, Serayu, and UNP. And this battle could really decide who ends up the victors of this game. The nades coming out. They're certainly close, but no. Every time it feels like the frags are just getting so close, but just a little bit too far. Is Chu sure he's pinned down, but the rest of the squad aren't. The rest of Unicorn Phoenix moving up the hillside. How How throws down a frag of his own onto Julio, but it's on the wrong side of the wall. He's going to be able to get over to some form of safety right now. Smokes are up as well as frags. The Molotov following through as well. The flashes now indicate Sarah, you were ready to make themselves a bit of a push. Sunshine moves round the back maybe thinking that these players are still inside the shack but no ms jambori they are inside a dip they are not planning on moving but all it's going to take is one molotov one frag grenade landing inside this dip and this squad are pretty much out of it shots coming through from above it's fury doing the damage as julio gets taken down low they've made some noise this could be the info that seri you needed but it isn't looking too promising as the molotov is just inches away it's phase eight saga this is our final zone now. It comes down to a dot, and it's looking like it's just north of the road to wrap things up. Again, favoring UNP and Fury. It's a very balanced top four in terms of representation. One from every region of qualification. Vietnam, one from Thailand. Challenger Rumble and OCE all in almost a four-man squad. But, but MSC taken down to a two-man with Ronan with a couple of quick headshots. Once again with the bolt action. Rognan's Mai, again an impactful kill to take down the young fragger. And Julio takes a body shot as well. That's not going to stop Jiao Man before he peeks up around the side and finishes off Ronan. Fury throwing down the smokes in the attempt to get in the revive, but they know that the push is going to be coming in from behind. Unicorn Phoenix started to group up, rocking a bit of a 2-2 split. It's a risky one to work with, but if they're able to open things up onto the initial two Fury players, it could easily shut things down. Molotov's coming over the top towards the tractor, a little bit short, but the sprays are still providing the pressure. Both Fury players now in sight and blood. Both going to be pinned down at the tractor as he tries to move away. Choose there to get himself the knock more more sprays come in, but nothing. Kinesis 9 started to move in. He's creeping through. It's Fanny! Oh, he's taken down so low by Waikika Mukau, but it's not enough to get the kill. Flood getting revived by Ronan as Fury now starting to consolidate. Julio just laying prone inside of the smoke. As much as Sarah, you want to get involved in this battle, they need to deal with the snake just on their side of the road first. And they're just going to sit back and let UNP and Fury take chunks out of one another so to speak insight and ronan up close and personal throwing out those flashbangs but around the side oh trick has been caught out julio oh, dealt with insight. and now insight with a knock on chew as well things are evened up three apiece for all teams Oh, this is huge right now. Fury, they were taking a fight onto the other side of the road. They managed to get the knock on to Serayu, but it's why Kick and Mook out, take down Hungvo Ditch. Blue follows with Ronan taking him down. Ronan just playing points so aggressively, but they know that Serayu are making a push oh, in. Nile with the 2k takes down Ronan, followed up by Insight, confirming themselves. Yet another kill as Nile goes down. Vanny is still there trying to survive. Cow is pinned down low. He's the final player for Fury, but not for long as Fury fall. It's a one versus 